Hi everyone! You may have watched a previous video I made about regrowing supermarket lettuce. That generated a lot of interest, especially during the worst of the COVID-19 pandemic when people were not able or afraid to go to the supermarkets to get fresh lettuce. That video generated over 800 comments and questions. So I decided it was time to experiment again with regrowing supermarket lettuce. This time I wanted to see if growing in soil versus water would make any difference. And then I also wanted to see if plain water versus water with hydroponic nutrients would matter. Let me start first with the lettuce. This is a brand we get here in the local supermarket. It is not organic. It is the Andy Boy brand. It has three heads, which is perfect for this experiment. I cut the tops off each to get three equally sized bottoms. And then I set up three containers for the lettuce stumps. One with soil, one with plain water, and one with hydroponic solution. For the container with soil, I used an organic seed starting mix. The other two containers are old Folgers coffee jars. I filled one with plain filtered water. We have a reverse osmosis water filter and the other I filled with a hydroponic nutrient solution. To make the hydroponic solution, I used the Grow Big formula from Fox Farms. It's really easy to use. You just mix two teaspoons into a gallon of water and shake. That's it. I used Folgers coffee containers in this grow. Sometimes I use wide mouth glass mason jars. Both have openings that hold a three inch net cup perfectly. You will need something to support the lettuce stumps. If you don't have net cups, you can use a plastic drinking cup and punch holes in the bottom to allow the roots to grow down into the water. I filled one of the coffee containers with the filtered water to just above where the net cup was sitting so that there was about a quarter of an inch of water in the net cup. And I labeled that container H2O. The other I filled with the hydroponic solution also to just above where the net cup was sitting and labeled it as well. Now the fun begins. I planted one stump into the organic seed starting mix and the other two I planted into the net cups sitting in the Folgers coffee jars. I drank the coffee first. You can see the three stumps are all planted and there's no growth yet of course. I just cut these off about an hour ago. I put the containers in a corner window area. These windows face south and west and I also have a light fixture above the plants. This is a 6500 Kelvin color temperature light. Regardless, all three plants are being treated as equally as possible except for the medium that I'm growing them in. Soil, water, and hydroponic water. Here it is the very next day. Let's call this day two. And there's already growth on all three of the lettuce stumps. And there seems to be the same amount of small growth on each. I don't see any difference at this stage of the game. Now it's day three. And here it is day four. And now it's day five and I think I'm starting to see a difference. The soil is growing slowly, the plain water a little faster, and the hydroponic water even faster. At least that's what it looks like to me on day five. Day six, and I think it's pretty clear that the lettuce stump that is sitting in the Grow Big hydroponic solution is doing the best. Next, the one in plain water, and the one in soil still looks fine, but it's growing at a much slower rate. Let's see if there are any roots growing yet. And no, no roots yet in either the hydroponic container or the plain water one. The soil, well, that one I can't check on. Now it's day nine since I started this experiment and it's becoming more and more obvious which is the winner. Day 10.
Day 11 Day 12 Let's fast forward to day 17. It's pretty clear that the lettuce in the soil is not growing as quickly as the two that are in water, but I don't see much of a difference between the one in plain water on the left and the one in hydroponic nutrient solution on the right. Interesting. Now it's three weeks since I set this up, day 21, and well, a picture is worth a thousand words. I'll let you draw your own conclusions at this point. Day 25. I put a bowl under the container with the soil to lift it up a bit so that all the plants are at the same height. But I don't think that's why it wasn't doing as well as the other two. I think it's the soil versus water thing that makes a difference. At this point I'm starting to see a much bigger difference between the plant and soil and the ones in water, but I'm also starting to see a difference between the middle one in plain water and the one on the right in hydroponic solution. It seems to be fanning out, maybe even bolting. Could that be? Aside from the light coming in from the windows, I also have a light above the plants, so they're really getting more than enough light, I think. Now it's day 28 and I needed the plants growing in water for a salad. So, I decided to replicate the experiment to see if I would get the same results. This time I raised the soil containers to the same level as the other plants, just in case that wasn't the reason it didn't grow as well. Here is the second experiment set up. This time I planted two in soil, two in plain water, and two in hydroponic solution. And here are the results. As you can see, the results are pretty much the same. The lettuce stumps in soil never grew much. The ones in water grew very nicely. You clearly don't need to add nutrients to the water for it to grow, but if you do, you might get slightly faster growth and bigger leaves. And those made their way to my salad bowl too. I hope you enjoyed this experiment and play around with your own stumps of lettuce instead of throwing them out. Have fun and thanks for watching. Bye!